Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your wash of at whatever.com. Today we are going to make another fish curry in tamarind sauce which I learnt in Tamil Nadu and this is slightly different than the other mean colombo. So let's learn how to make this. For this you know I am going to use the sesame seed oil. Some people are very very particular that they do not add any other oil other than the sesame seed oil. This is good. In this add mustard seeds. Mustard seed uh, splutter, add red chilli whole, cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds, do not add too much of fenugreek seed and then fennel seeds. You know some people like to add fennel seeds in this if it's up to you. Now in this add garlic, the whole garlic which has been slightly crushed. Now you want this uh, garlic to be slightly golden in color, add slit green chilli, add curry leaves and then onion paste. Okay, there was a time when they used to believe that a good tasty fish curry can only be made in a clay pot. But you know nowadays people don't get these uh, clay pots that's why they cook in anything. But if you can get hold of uh, a clay pot there are certain dishes which are extremely flavorful and tasty when you cook in this earthen pot. Now add uh, turmeric and we are going to cook it for some more time till this uh, onion also uh, is nicely cooked. Now add uh, ginger garlic paste and mix this also and we are going to cook till the raw flavor is all gone. Once this masala is cooked you can see that this uh, oil is oozing out in this. Add chili powder, cumin powder and coriander powder and add tomato puree. In this add water and also add tamarind juice. The tamarind juice has to be adjusted. You want the sourness you know just right. You don't want it too much or too less or doesn't make it tasty. So now add uh, some more of water. Now this has to be boiled for at least 20-25 minutes. That's when this uh, sauce will be cooked. Now once uh, this is comes to a slight boil then add salt. Add little less salt than what is needed because you know you can always adjust it just before adding fish. Now put the lid and let it cook for at least 20-25 minutes. After 30 minutes of cooking, now you can see that this uh, sauce is nice and silky and also you can see the little bit oil floating on top. You know that is first indication that uh, the sauce is cooked. Now we are going to add fish. Here I have got a small lady fish. Wow, you know I think I may need to add a uh, little water in this. Actually I should have added before I added the fish in this, just little bit, okay. <laughs> After adding the fish you are not supposed to mix this too much and you have to let the fish simmer in this uh, gravy. Okay, Put the lid and reduce the flame little bit and now we are going to cook it on a slow flame for 5 minutes and switch off the flame and within the heat that is there. The fish has to sit in this gravy for good amount of time to get the nice sour juices in. Lot of times or by tradition I should say they cook this fish curry in the night and they eat the next day morning with rice. I started feeling happy the moment I put the pot on the stove. It reminded me of some beautiful days. But dear friends this fish is super awesome. You know in fact there are so many fish curries in which I use tamarind. I made the Govani style. I made the Maharashtrian style, I made Andhra style and this is one of the styles they make in Tamil Nadu. But you know you have to ha huh. mm, mm, mm. dear friends but do not forget Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.